What's up, Hoop fans? We're back with another video analysis. In this video, we dive deep into Panathinaikos' defense against Mike James and Monaco. We'll dissect the key strategies and adjustments Panathinaikos used to challenge one of the league's best player. But before we jump into the details, there's something I have to tell you. I see that 88.1% of you are enjoying the content without being subscribed. Click that subscribe button, it's free, and it helps the channel a lot. Plus, you'll always be in the loop for new videos. If you're feeling generous, you can also support me with Buy Me A Coffee. The link's in the description. Your support is greatly appreciated. Thank you for watching and growing our community. Hit subscribe, support if you wish, and stay tuned for more. Jerry and Grant plays top lock defense against James. Positioned between James and Jaite facing the baseline, Grant cuts off the screen option, forcing James to pass under the screen. His active hands on the ball puts an extra pressure on James. During a pick and pop with Brown, Grant plays weak, forcing James left, and then with Mitaglu aggressively blitz the pick and roll, trapping James. James, pressured by Grant's defense, makes a bad pass to Brown. With only two seconds left on the shot clock, Brown, not known as a threat from that range, is forced to take a difficult shot. In next possession, Grant continues his top lock defense, making it challenging for James to receive the ball. James then initiates a pick and roll with Jaite. This time, Lessort steps out to hedge. Grant, anticipating the screen, positions himself to prevent a ball screen reject. The key here is the time taken for Lessort to recover back to Jaite. As Jaite rolls, Gregonis becomes the tagger, with Nunn actively trying to disrupt the pass to delay it further, giving Lessort time to return. However, in this sequence, Grant is slightly off position, expecting a pass to Jaite. The ball eventually gets back to James, who attacks Grant's closeout. Despite this, Grant's persistent active hands on the ball pay off, resulting in a steal for the Greens. Promising start. Now up 3-0 as John Brown. Jacksonville, Florida native. Back to James. He hails from Portland, Oregon, up the west coast of the USA. James the fake. It's by Grant. Strip going up, though. Now, James makes an Iverson cut to receive the ball more effectively. Monaco counters the aggressive hedge or blitz with a short roll. Brown slips and rolls, prompting Lessor to rotate onto him. Meanwhile, Gregonis covers Jaite temporarily until Midaglo can return. During this play, Blossom Game spots a chance for a baseline cut. However, under Lessort's pressure, Brown's pass is off the mark, leading to another steal for the Greens. Monaco again, use an Iverson cut to facilitate James receiving the ball and a ram screen to slightly offset Mitaglu, the hedge out defender, during the ball screen setup. They also use a short roll to exploit the gap created by the hedge out or blitz. The greens respond with another blitz. James attempts to exploit Mitaglu's lateral movement by driving to the basket. However, Gregonis smartly positions himself to block the middle drive, forcing James to kick the ball out instead. The Greens consistently apply the same defensive approach. Lessort aggressively confronts James, while Mitaglo acts as the high tagger on Motia Yunus. Slukas is also ready to assist temporarily until Lessort can return. This effective defensive approach by the Greens successfully shifts the ball away from Mike James's control, possession by possession. The Greens successfully execute their plan to keep the ball out of James's hands, reflected in their commanding 15-point lead. In response, Monaco's players make skip passes, managing to score difficult baskets despite the Greens' tough defense. In this play, Monaco executes a horns out, transitioning into a pitch back and then a Spain pick and roll. The Greens counter with Lessort's hard hedge. 
Notice Hernan Gomez's positioning simultaneously trying to stay close to Motia Yunus and keeping an eye on his own assignment, Brown. As James attacks Grant's closeout, he's confronted by a wall of Green's defense, forcing him to pass the ball. Slukas then manages a closeout, and the ball returns to James. However, this time, Grant directs James to drive right, leading him straight into Lasort and Hernan Gomez. Now, Jonathan Ikos on a 6-0 run. James, still scoreless tonight. Side here, hangs and fires up an air ball, but it's off of Grant. Watch the Greens execute another blitz on James. Hernan Gomez and Slukas rotate seamlessly, with Hernan Gomez's high hands effectively blocking the pass to Brown. Slukas gambles a steal, and while the defense collapsing, Monaco's big man spots the opportunity and swiftly finds Watara for the open shot. Grant and Lessort momentarily ease up on defense and James capitalizes with a quick sidestep, sinking a three-pointer. In the following play, Adaman shouts for a blitz while James seeks out Gregonis for the switch. Gregonis and Grant close in, attempting a trap. James dodges, tries to drive left, but finds no opening. He retreats, only to commit a turnover under Grant's intense defense. Warriors in the game with 13. James, double team. Tries to beat it with the dribble. He loses the handle. Blossom game, out of bounds. Observe the final blitz defense breakdown. Lessort and Grant aggressively execute the blitz. Meanwhile, Hernan Gomez, positioned as the low tagger, swiftly tags Hall, then quickly shifts to close out on Strazel, who finds himself open after a flare screen is set on Kendrick Nunn. Moving to the next section of our video, let's closely examine the Greens' defensive aggression. Notice their active hands on the ball, consistently high and ready, leading to deflections and showcasing their hustle. This relentless defensive posture underscores their commitment to disrupting the flow of the game. Looking for Kemba Walker, but the pass intercepted. And Slukas. Here, watch Mike James in secondary transition as he attempts to drive towards the basket. He quickly finds himself surrounded by three defenders, James, no, it's wild and fumbled out of bounds, I think, off of Brown. Notice here, Nunn's active hands post closeout, and Lessort using his hands effectively to narrow the space for Strozel. In the upcoming clips, observe how the Greens expertly put their hands on the ball, consistently deflecting passes and shots. Their hustle is evident as they tirelessly pressure their opponents, disrupting their rhythm and flow. of Brown stealing the ball. Lost their offensive fluidity power a little bit here, but the steal, ball comes to Kalitzikis. Kicked outside, the open three. So Diallo, front court for the Monagas, but the steal, and coast to coast. of athleticism, just like his brothers. As the shot blocks, the league get to 40 in terms of PIR. That's where Lasori is now. As a strip, a touch. PIR and all around, all encompassing stats. Used by 21 points tonight. 
And look at that block by Grant on James. And then the unsportsmanlike foul to follow. What a memorable night for the home crowd here as Grant. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this breakdown, please like, share, and subscribe. Your support helps us grow and bring you more in-depth basketball analysis. See you in the next video.